First question is, when we claim back POK, uh, will it be only the land or the people with it? If the people too, then the whole of Pakistan will be part of POK. Please enlighten us. <laughs> I, I think the person who asked the question has enlightened everybody. Yeah. So, look, you know, to me it's very interesting. Till Article 370 was abrogated and settled, Actually, I didn't even see much of a POK debate in this country. There was a time in the 1990s when it was a big issue. And uh, uh, there was actually a parliament resolution that, you know, all the parties agreed. But then again, it kind of went into uh, a kind of dormancy uh, out there. So, uh, I would say today the fact that there is much sharper awareness uh, even in public opinion uh, about POK uh, is something uh, which is uh, very welcome. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, for us, uh, the, the initial goal was first to deal with the 370 issue. The country has already seen after five years how much of a difference there is today in the ground situation in Jammu and Kashmir as a result today of it being fully integrated with this country. So that part is integrated, there is the other part. So watch part two of the series. Question, question. For Operation Kaveri, I was the first Indian to get back home and land back from Sudan. It's all thanks to you. This is my second life, and I owe it to you and to Modi ji. I'm extremely, extremely grateful, and I wish I could do something for this country now. You Thank can. you very much, sir. You can. Just make sure everybody presses the right button. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. So, I had about... actually given up hopes to come back home. No, no, but look, uh, I will and I can... let, let me Let me respond to this, though. I, I treat it as a question. You know, uh, today, about uh, 17, 18 uh, million Indians, almost two crore, you can say. India. That is